Maya Boy here and yes, I'm back with a new vlog after my vlogma series and I just want to say that it actually feels so refreshing to be back after weeks of no uploads, no filming, no anything. So yeah. Anyway, let's just dive right into it and talk about what I really need to talk with you guys about today. So for today's vlog, I'm gonna talk about the best drugstore products that I personally think that are the best in the market. These are also the products that I've constantly used and repurchased and I just thought that maybe some of you guys are interested to know what my top beauty drugstore products are and hence this video. So if you guys are interested to know what these drugstore products are then keep on watching plus there will be a giveaway towards the end of this vlog so just keep on watching. <laughs> to start off Every time I step into a Watson store, what I usually do is I browse through everything. I check what's new, what's hot, what's top selling. And usually I just grab the familiar products first, like um, the products that I need to repurchase and some products that I know have good reviews and I must try. So those are the first steps I do when I shop inside a Watson. So for the first product that I'll be talking about with you guys today would be this cleanser from CosRx. So this is actually my fourth bottle and I've been really using this low pH good morning gel cleanser from CosRx because one, gentle on the skin and two, it really does cleanse my skin, my face and removes any dirt and makeup left on my skin and three i don't break out with this product so that's the most important thing about this product so happy i can now find cos rx in watson so there you go for the first product now for the second product that i'll be sharing with you would be this eyebrow pencil from k palette i've actually known k palette for a long time now and I've been really using this eyebrow pencil ever since because I like how waterproof, sweat proof and I also like how thin the pencil is. It makes the application very easy and effortless so that's a plus for me and it also comes with a powder to fill in your brows later. Then another repurchase would be this Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner. My love for this product started when they sent this product out to me like a few years ago. So I've been really using this product ever since and I've been repurchasing this product for years. This is like my go-to eyeliner because it doesn't smudge and it dries out fast when you apply it on your eyes. So it's good. It's like a really good product that I've loved ever since. So there you go for the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner. The last product that I repurchased would be this Biore Cleansing Oil Cotton Facial Sheet. So I'm not sure if I pronounce the brand name right. I'm not sure if it's Biore or it's if it's Bior, Biore, Biore, however you want to call it. But I hope you guys know which brand I'm talking about today. So. So the reason why I repurchased this product is that I really find this product handy especially when I'm traveling because the nice thing about this is that the facial sheets are already soaked with cleansing oil. This is like the best way and the easiest way for you to remove your makeup when you're traveling and it's very light. It doesn't really add so much to your baggage allowance. I really like this product from Biore and hopefully I'll have more travels this year for me to reuse this product over and over again. And we're done with the products that I've repurchased in Watson's. Now let's go to the products that I'm about to try, going to try, will try because of the good reviews that I've read online. So those good reviews led me to purchasing these products and hopefully these products will do justice to my purchase. 
I sounded like I was going around the bushes, but I hope you guys got what I mean. So for the first product that I purchased and will try would be this Neutrogena Deep Clean Foaming Cleanser. I'm not sure if this is still the same product that I used to use before. I used the Cos RX Cleanser, but I've been really using Neutrogena before I discovered Cos RX. So I just want to see if this still has the same ingredients from before. And I also just want to see how this product will work on my face. And yeah, that's why I'm also going to try this cleanser again from Neutrogena. So hopefully I will break out from this product. Fingers crossed. Now the next would be this Biore Pore Pack No Strips. And I've actually tried a few of these nose strips before, but from a different brand. Now, um, since I've liked the Biore Cleansing Oil Cotton Facial Sheets, then hopefully I might also like this nose strips from them. And uh, I'm honestly excited to try this product out. Now for the next product, it would be this Elana Mineral Cosmetics. Lip in Lux in shade Love is Forever. The reason why I wanted to try this lipstick from Elana is that um, I actually in search for new uh, shades of lipstick that would work well on my skin tone. And of course, I'm really curious to see how the Elana lipsticks are because I know their powder foundation is really good. Their brush cleaner is really good. So most of their products are really really good. So I'm just curious and I wanted to try the Alana Lips in Lux this time. Also this shade was recommended to me because this shade in Love is Forever is one of their best selling shades. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a try and hopefully be a candidate for a next repurchase. So we'll see. Next product that I'm going to talk about would be this BYS. Peach on the Go eyeshadow palette and one of the reasons why I purchased this product is that I know um, BYS really has good pigmentation when it comes to their eyeshadows, blushes, contours, bronzers. Also aside from that, I needed a smaller version um, of eyeshadow palette that I can carry with me around when I'm traveling because as of the moment, I only have this Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics eyeshadow palette with me and I always carry this with me when I'm traveling or when I have shoots. I do like this eyeshadow palette but it's just, you know, a bit big and I just wanted like a small version of the eyeshadow palette so that's why I got this BYS on the go peach palette so it's tiny like me now for the next product would be this mask sheets from Watson so I have four here and the yellow ones are the beauty buffet royal jelly repairing mask and the green ones are the Watson's facial mask in radiant and moisturizing aloe vera juice Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of facial masks, but I know that there are really good benefits from using facial masks and that's what I'm gonna try more this year. So I'm really excited to try this mask sheets and will definitely give my thoughts with you towards the end of this year if it works for me or not. So we'll see. Now for another product that I'm excited to try from Watson's would be this Deep Moisturizing Body Scrub in Cocoa Butter Scented. And if I'm not a facial mask sheet person, then I'm definitely a body scrub person because I have an ugly scaly legs and skin because I have a very dry skin because I rarely drink water which is one of my 2019 goals is to drink more water and stay more hydrated so that's the goal so anyway going back to the product i just honestly like its scent and the price is not bad for the size so i like how huge it is so i can you know apply as much as body scrub as i want to on my body i also like how it's a squeeze bottle rather than a 
tub because you know for hygienic purposes it's best to get a squeezed bottle really now for the last product that i've purchased from watson's would be this hair treats damage control keratin repair plus vitamin e one of the practices that i really haven't done to myself was to you know spend more time on repairing my hair on making it look more healthy so this year i just want to focus more on my hair on making it look more healthy and more presentable for you guys and aside from using this hair spa from watson's i'm also switching to cream silk for my conditioner because it's not enough to just use shampoo I'm using a conditioner afterwards is really helpful it will make your hair more soft and smooth and I actually chose to use Cream Silk Hair Fall Defense Conditioner because last year, I've really neglected my hair and I was focusing more on my work that I forgot to take care of my hair. Hence, I got so much hair fall and this year, I'm going to do my best to solve that problem, that hair issue and uh, with the help of cream silk hair fall defense conditioner of course so that's what i'm working on this year and i guess we're done with today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video joke <laughs> now for the giveaway i did not forget for the giveaway all you need to do is to give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel and comment down below your 2019 goals and how you want to look good and feel great with Watson. So that's it. I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye!